Let's get this show on the road. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. I decided to let's go with the derp gun. I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. It's just so ridiculous to say the least. It's just point, shoot, and win. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I yeah, to be realistic, it isn't, you know, 100% kill all the time. You're going you're gonna to miss a good percentage. You're only going to do like 20 to 50% sometimes. But man, that makes this uh, KV competitive through every level that it can get stuck into. Now, let's see what I can do with this map, because this map is not very, uh, not very KV friendly. It's actually very camp friendly. And I don't, this and camping over are my two least favorite maps, because it's just a lot of sitting around on both sides of the board with nothing to do until one person decides to make the push, and it never ends well. So, we're going to uh, try and loop around the exterior here the way I almost always go on this map, up through the uh, one bracket to the A bracket, and just loop around through the mountains and swing around that way. Hopefully it uh, pans out, but you sometimes get stuck on this mountain, and it's uh, not a good day. Like right there we have a Panzer 38T. That thing's going to get annihilated. The moment anyone actually gets a shot off on him. I'm not going to bother shooting over there. It's going to be kind of pointless. So we're going to trudge on through here. See what I can do. Avoid the tree. Even though it doesn't matter at this point. And get rolling up the steep hill, which will take me a good large chunk of time. But yeah, back to the derp gun. I can only carry, what is that, 36 rounds of ammunition in this thing? But it is awesome. When it hits, or when it gets near something, that thing dies. Plain and simple, it is just dead. And it's... It's impressive. I've taken out Lowe's with it, I've taken out T-34 uh, American tanks with it. I mean, anything I've killed is just disgusting. Here we go, here's my first target of the day. There we go. 44% left after one hit. We got back down the mountain now. Thing has a 30 second reload and it's not uh, by no means quick. I don't have the ammo reloader or what is it, ammo slammer on this thing. I probably should get it because 10% off that time is going to help. Not by much, but it'll at least make it a lot better. Probably the, uh, the drivetrain on this thing too so that it centers a lot quicker helps. But I've already gotten it down pretty well. You kind of want to let it zoom in the best you can. Wait an extra split second if you can to get that final little bit. And then unleash hell. Because that is exactly what this thing is. It's like, wait, 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 die. Ugh. Aw, oh, the little ram ran off. What, he, uh, gets scared by the big gun? Come on now. It's not that bad. I've survived it plenty of times. Oh, hello, Wolverine. Wow! Wow, I just one shot at that Wolverine. Whew, that was... That was painful. But he wasn't ready for that one. BT-7 out there. Not one of those, if you get close, it's gonna die. I must have nailed him right on some sort of lip. He probably was not too happy. There's that ram again. Oh, let's stop and wait for it. He just get hit by his own guys. There we go. God, this thing's so awesome. It's, if nothing else, it's more of a fun thing. I wouldn't by any means classify it as a grindable upgrade or... Uh-oh. Or anything like that. Uh-oh again. Spin turret, spin. Oh man, one shot it again. Man, don't tell me that BT 7s the thing that's shooting like me. Uh oh. The track is damaged. Reload faster. Come on. Our main gun is damaged. Uh oh, definitely not good. Well. Definitely not good. There's that. That SU-85 is probably going to get me. Not a whole lot I can do at this point. Oh, the reload's going to kill me. Yep. Look at that. I took out four people with this awesome gun of death. I'll take that. Oh, man. That was sweet. 
So I'm still here in the PZ4, mostly because I can unlock the Hummel, I believe it is, directly from the PZ4. Whatever it is, I can still unlock a piece of artillery from this thing, so I'm going to keep playing it until I do. It's uh, actually a really good tank, no matter what it gets placed against, because this gun that it has on it, the uh, 75 long barrel, is the same gun that like six other tanks use that are all higher levels than this thing. So it's by no means a bad tank ever. And a lot of times you get stuck in battles like this where it's against uh, fairly low level decent stuff that you can take out and have fun with. Of course I did no damage to this thing and he did damage to me. Penetration. Come on, load faster. We the the leopards. Leopard's something different. I never can figure that thing out. One day I'll unlock it. I think it's tracked really easily though. That's the one downside of it. it seems to be the only thing I do is I do no damage and track those things right away. I need to figure out how to, I guess, aim better or something. Because all I do is manage to track stuff all the time. Or not track, but uh, do no damage all the time. And it kind of sucks a lot. Enemy armor is damaged. There we go. And we'll just keep running through this place. I usually go up this hill real quick to pop up, see what I can shoot at, see what needs help. Well, you know what, on second thought, let's. So it looks like there's a large grouping of things over there that might need help. That martyr, though, he's gonna get some nice shots off. As soon as I see this PZ-3A at a better angle. There we go. God, I love that when it gives the double report. It's like, oh really? I didn't know that I did two things at once there. Uh-oh. That'll be not good. Alright, now let's uh, be cautious about this one. Ow. Yeah, he can see me. I'm in the open like an idiot. Ugh. Yep. Got caught. Stuck in the open and then I got nailed by uh, PC4. Even though we took out the majority of their team, so... Not bad. Quickly killed though. Oh well. Time to roll out. Oh, the easy eight. It is easy to use, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that joke. Oh well. Yeah, I, I, I seem to have a fondness for medium tanks over heavies, SPGs, or uh, what are the other things? TDs. Seem to love medium tanks. Just the constant ability to move, constant uh, rate of fire. It's just a more interesting class for me, I believe. Don't know. Just think about it, it speaks to me. So we're gonna... Oh no, I'm all the way up here alone. Well, that might not be good. Well, if anything pokes out, at least I'll start shooting at it really quick. Hopefully, uh, people decide to come and join me. Kinda stuck here all alone. Surprise, surprise. I haven't seen anyone yet, that's the other surprise. Usually you see a bunch of people by now. They all must be in the woods, I guess? I don't know. So far it looks completely clear. Yeah, I don't think anyone went this way. I'm going to completely flank the entire team. Obviously my position's going to get revealed the moment I set foot on this uh, trail here. Should take out this hat sir while I still can. Yeah, we're gonna hold still for it. Yeah, there's an easy eight. Ow. Enemy armor is hit. Definitely not good. I'm getting hit from the front. Knew I was getting exposed right away. There we go. At least now I'm back into some concealment. Let's see about dealing some uh, damage to this easy gate here. Try and get him uh, right there. Keep him tracked. Oh, well, that's why I'm not doing any damage. I'm just hitting the track. Track hit. The track is damaged. Oh man, definitely not good. Taking way too many hits. He's waiting for me. So if I poke around. Uh 
Uh oh. Uh, there we go. Oh no, I repaired right in time to get killed. Ah, oh, that would figure. Oh well, no big deal. That's a duel that went south really quick. This map seems to be a pretty popular one this time around. Uh, let's see what I can do with the artillery here. I need to sneak into a bush somewhere so I can hide. Up there looks pretty good. Looks pretty concealed. Looks good to uh, shoot from. I'm gonna go hide in it. And uh, bombard. Again, the problem with this map is a lot of uh, a lot of sitting around and camping can go on and it gets uh, kinda tedious. So I'll try and cut out whatever in this little artillery piece is boring and uninteresting here. Let's see if I can find anyone first. Oop, there we go. You ask and you shall receive. What are we given here? We're given a tiger. I'm going to end up moving, aren't I? Ah, can't see him, so we'll readjust real quick. Okay, so that was a tiger, and there is an M6. A slow version of the T1 is what that is. So we're just going to land one right there. That was close. Oh, BS, that was close. I was right on top of him. Whatever. I've never gotten an actual hit in this game with this tank and or SPG piece in a long time. It's always been, it's been close. So, oh well. Critical hit. There we go. <laughs> There's a hit. Right on his uh, front turret and knocked him out of the game. Alright, so what's my next target here? Ooh, we've lost three guys already. Well, they're all lower level stuff, but still, it's never fun to be on the receiving end of some of this punishment here. T20. Well, come on, shoot that. <laughs> still suffering from that, uh, still suffering from that cold, so I do apologize. Oh, too far! Come on, reload faster! He's still in the open. Even a close hit would kill him. Except in the water. I'd imagine that wouldn't help. Come on. Where is he going? Aw. Oh, nuts. Good attempt, though. Problem with uh, this tank is you really don't want to blind... Or not tank. SPG is you really don't want to blind fire it because my ammo count is so low that missing is so critical with this thing. You just lose so much ammo. Only starting with 22 rounds, it's just... You know, you need every last shot you have. You really do. One miss and you're, uh... You're losing rounds that you can't afford to lose. Oh look, a new target appears! And disappears at the same round. Oh, there we go. So let's see if we can't land one right on top of him when he... Gets stuck right there, come on! Aw, oh, he moved. Ah, again, missing is... Bad news here. So we're gonna actually going to try and send this one better on him. So that if we miss, we're at least close. He's gonna move before I can shoot one. Come on, land! That was close. Ah, landed near him for no damage. So let's readjust for this target all the way down here at the bottom. Come on, quick adjusting. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to move. They're gonna get in that little ravine, aren't they? Yeah. I can be able to get them after all, they're gonna start climbing this hill. Where can I get them over on the hill though? When they start coming up the hill, I'll actually have a pretty good shot. Alright, so a lot of targets appeared all of a sudden, and it looks like we need a... Uh... Oh, they're gonna destroy that guy. At least you think they would. Oh wow. Wasn't even aiming for that guy, but I still got... I think I was... Kinda was aiming in between, hoping for the best. Let's see about hitting this Yag Panzer down here. Taking care of that problem. As soon as I uh, reload. There we go. A little bit of damage. Uh oh, we're getting flanked on that lower section. Hopefully uh, my teammates can take care of it. Ooh, doesn't look like it. Probably gonna get one more shot off here. I'm gonna have to readjust. Come on baby, land! Aw, oh, just short. Okay, now we have trouble. We're gonna have a uh, tiger over here along with a T28, I guess it is. Not too sure what it was anymore. Um, yeah, T20 I'm not too worried about. I'm worried about this tiger. It's actually out of my range here. 
So we need to alert my team and hope for the best. We do have a tiger though, so hopefully that little head-to-head -head combat will take place. I can sneak around and directly uh, hit this tiger. Actually, what I'm going to attempt to do now. Try and pop on top of him here. Land one right on his back. Critical hit. Ah ha ha! Surprise! Oh, keep him entertained for another minute while I reload the stinking tank. Oh man, this thing takes forever to reload. We'll readjust and get ready for the next shot. Oh! Come on, baby! Reloaded! Ready? Fire! What in the world killed me? Oh man. It was worth it though. Totally worth it. So here we are at the lonely bottom with the uh, lovely Wolverine here. There's a... Uh, even though it's on the bottom here, it can still do pretty well. All those tier 5's, easy to chew up. Tier 6 is not bad as well. Tier 7's is when it starts to get iffy. Tier 8's and everything else, same. But uh, the 76mm is actually the same across all the tanks in a... Uh, wow. Minor differences across all the tanks in the US line. The 76mm was a very adopted and well liked caliber for the US uh, armor divisions. So, in theory, I should be able to damage the majority of stuff. I just gotta really place my hits really well. I'm not too worried about it though. Should be able to do it without much problem. With this map though, I'm gonna have to camp. I really can't uh, go out hunting with what I'm running right now. So, with any luck, I'll get someone to pop up over here. Be good shooting, but I don't have anyone uh, watching it really, so I can't tell. Which means I will also have shots into these gaps here if anyone comes through there. But I'm being camouflaged, hiding here. We do have a uh, large push over there on that side, down in the ravine. Nothing I can actually get to at the moment, but still. And then uh, a few things here and there. Still nothing that, again, that I can. Uh, really assist with. A few things in the hill way back in the distance. I could push up onto this ledge here. I think it'd uh, really help out because the moment I poke my head up I'm going to be a very fragile target. The thing with the uh, what is this? The, the M10 is that the hole itself is actually fairly decent armored. I'm not too worried about getting hit there. So when you get hit in the turret turret is paper thin and I, it's you take some heavy damage if it hits you on that turret. There is nothing you can do about it, and it's... More often than not, their shots are going to land there, because they know that's your soft point. If you ever go against a uh, M10 Wolverine, aim for that little star right there. You're going to get an ammo rack or a crew killed or something. Because, like I said, there is no armor whatsoever on the turret of this tank. But yet the hull... Hull's decently armored. I wouldn't by any means glorify it or... Say, go... Uh, you can't penetrate the hole, but best best to just aim at that turret. Even the gun mount is fairly fragile. If you hit that, they're not going to be able to do too much. So I'm actually going to take a ride over there on this mountain. See if I can't support those guys. Hopefully we won't get assaulted in the meantime through the center of town. So, it's one of the few times i actually ever been this way. The mountain pass offers two different directions. You can go either up top of the mountain or uh, along the bottom here where it's a little more safe. So I'm going to try and go through the bottom here for a bit and then I'll pop up top and try and snipe off of it. Try and assist these guys the best I can. Can't make any promises here but see what we can do. Of course I'm getting uh, going up against the tiger too. Nothing that I can easily easily go against. The egg pants is not a big deal. So we'll sneak up this way real quick. Oof. All we have over here is a KB. And then all these tigers and stuff. Ouch. It's not going to make for an easy game. I have to earn my keep, I guess. Here goes nothing, though. Man, if they want to crest that hill, I might be in trouble. I can't back up very fast, but what I can do is wait. Now I'm nuts. No damage. That's what I think. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, nope, we are doing damage. Okay. We didn't even scratch the 
match them. And he's well hidden. Critical hit. Man, I think I'd be doing more damage. So yeah, they haven't uh, popped up to get me. I'm surprised. But they have those little tanks over there. Oh, he's gone. From the Slugger, which is just an upgraded version of the uh, M10. With probably a little better armor. That was not my shot. That would have been beautiful if it was, though. Come on, where are you? Trying to get a turret hit. hit there we go. Turret hits are deadly. There we go. Got him. Nice little snipe. Now we're already capping. Excellent. So my little uh, planned route here worked out. They have the tiger and everything else, which probably is already back at our base. There's a stug up ahead. I think I'll go try and take care of him while we cap. But this is probably going to do it. Yep, there we go. Got him before I could even get over there to assist. So that'll probably do it as we wind up with the cap and the win. I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode again. And uh, I will definitely see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully by then I will have another tank. But if not, it'll definitely be the double credit earning experience thing battle for uh, Operation Husky. So, look forward to seeing you guys then.